Hey guys, I got my first request, so I'm pretty excited about it. Um, the request was to actually talk about the process of stretching my ears. My ears are zero gauge. Um, the way I stretch mine is I jumped up one size at a time. I started by sticking 14 gauge, which is your standard piercing needle size, so think you know, belly button ring, industrial barbell. What I actually did was take some belly rings and shove them into my ears for the first time. Um, and then from there, I just took it up a step at a time from 12, then to 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and uh, ew. The sizes um, get bigger as the number goes down. Um, um, let me see. So the way I would do it is I would jump a size and when you when you jump your ears normally swell a little bit and also they get itchy and a li sometimes even a little crusty um, what I would do though is I would wait a week or two weeks like sometimes even longer depending on how my ears felt but I wouldn't jump up until like they felt back to normal like not till they stopped itching, not till the swelling went down and yeah um, you need to take it slow, you need to be patient with it and re like you don't want to be jumping before your ears feel like they're ready because you can stress your ear out, you can rip your ear, you can blow your ear out which is where you basically turn it inside out um, uh, my husband, he actually has his holes at a zero also, and his second holes at an eight. Um, I know he jumped two sizes at a time, so he went from like 14 to 10. But when you do it that way, you have to wait like two to three months before you can jump again. Um, and really that's about it. Um, the easiest type of jewelry I found worked best for stretching my ears were the crescent like earrings. So like almost like a horseshoe shape type. Um, I might have some right here actually. Well. This is almost like the crescents but they didn't, they don't have the spikes. They're just pointed ends. And um, I found those easiest to slide in. The acrylic earrings are a little bit harder to slide in than the metal ones. The metal ones usually slide in a lot easier. Um, the reason I like crescents best is because I didn't, I don't, I'm not a fan of the tapers because if you notice, they go skinny and like although you're slowly like working up to the jump, it's still like. A significant jump. I don't know. I just felt like the crescent split in easier. Um, I don't suggest double flares. Double flares are like where they're bigger on the ends and skinnier in the middle. The reason I don't suggest those is because the flares are normally bigger than the size you're trying to jump to and it hurts like hell if you try and use flares. Single flares are alright because, you know, they're, they're only flared on one end, but double flares, just please stay away from those until your ears are healed and you're at the size you want to be at for a while. So, yeah. Um, um, if you like tunnels like I have, these are, I'll take it out for you. It's, the, my tunnels are actually double flares but the reason they're so easy to get in is because they're silicone so they're squishy and I can just roll it up so it so like the flare isn't even in the way and just put it in my ear see my lovely hole it's nice and pretty ain't it <laughs> but yeah um I'm pretty sure I'm done stretching my ears because once you start getting into double zero, that's when your ears will not go back. Um, 
They say four to two, your ears will definitely go back. I mean, it won't happen in like a day. You gotta leave your gauges out for a while and they'll, you know, slowly shrink back. Um, but yeah, once you hit double zero, you're starting to get into the zone where your ears won't go back. But I mean, if you're fine with that, that's your choice. <laughs> I just, I'm not sure if I'm ready for that commitment. But yeah. Hope you, I hope this helps you guys. Um, if you have any questions, just post them under the video and I'll be sure to answer them. See ya.